Hi, I'm Michael Sinoff, founder and CEO of HardToFindSeminars.com. For the last five years, I've interviewed the world's best business and marketing minds. Now my challenge is to build the world's largest free resource for online, downloadable audio business interviews. I've learned a lot in the last five years, and today I'm going to show you the skills you need to survive. Say, guy, you want me to do marketing? You want to sell mattresses? You get me a contract that I feel good about. You pay for it. Let's get an attorney in here to draft it up. You'll find one. They pay for it. And we'll go to work. Tell them. You can go sell mattresses somewhere else. They're not the only mattress manufacturer in town. Hi, this is Michael Sinoff with Michael Sinoff's Hard to Find Seminars.com. Here's a consult with a gentleman named Evan. Evan contacted me about three or four months ago, and he was trying to set up a joint venture after purchasing my Joint Venture Magic course. So he told me he would call me back after he had set some criteria for his potential joint venture partner, and that's what he's done. So he's got a deal ironed out with him, and he wanted to discuss what he set up in an idea for marketing mattresses. He's got a great relationship with the manufacturer of a mattress that has some real unique competitive advantages. So for the next hour, we're going to be discussing this deal he set up, and you're going to hear me reveal ways that he can protect himself, better marketing methods, better ways to distribute his information, and a whole lot more. I'm sure if you've ever tried setting up a deal or if you're considering doing a joint venture with another business, you're going to find some of these ideas extremely valuable. The most valuable thing I'm going to show you in this recording is how to protect yourself, how to keep control of all your efforts and all your leads that you produce, and how to negotiate better deals and how to have a better attitude. I'm sure you're going to find this helpful, so let's get going. Hey, Michael. Evan, how are you? Good. All right, so let's talk. Tell me what you got going. Since I last talked to you, I learned a lot more about marketing, and I was able to um, develop what the USP of you. Did you learn more by going back to the recordings on my site? Yes, and I started figuring out which questions to ask because it's all about asking the right questions. What they have is a unique system of delivery. They are the only company that they know of in the United States that can ship a mattress in a box that UPS and FedEx can deliver around the United States and in Canada. Most mattress producers, like Sealy and all the big names, they all have to put it in trucks, and the freight is a lot more expensive putting it in trucks. Most of those big companies have only like around a five-state radius that they deliver to, so they have to have several plants in different regions of the United States. And so these guys developed a way to compress the mattresses to a box of around the size of like 48 inches by 36 inches by like a foot that is packed in the most efficient way possible that the pricing that they get from UPS is very low and cost-effective to ship everywhere. I'm at the site. Yeah, I remember. Look, that is very unique. That is an advantage distribution-wise, cost-wise, and it really expands their market without distribution facilities all over the country. Exactly. They also have several other systems in place that make it an ideal business to expand and have scale. They right now have a financing plan in place that when people purchase and they can qualify for the financing, they can get 12 months with no interest and no payments. Wow. Plus, they also have the 100 days. They can use the mattress for 100 days and return it if they're not satisfied. So I called them up last night. I said, what's your return rate? Because I was thinking a good return rate would be probably less than 2%. And they said it's way less than that. And since they've done some revisions to the mattress and changed some of the foam, for the last several hundred, they have not even had one return. Wow. So what's your relationship with this company? I actually partnered up with two brothers, they're twins, and I partnered up with them when I was in college, and we did a network marketing company together, and then we split ways. I took up stock trading while they took up the furniture business, since I didn't have a passion for furniture at that mm -hmm. point in time, and I said, we'll develop different skills, and then one day we'll work in the future again, and that time has come where they've been able to figure out their distribution chain, and I've also been able to learn about marketing. and finding out ways to take them to the next level. So you guys have a relationship that goes back. Yeah, what we learned from our experience is that that was the first partnership we've ever done. We did a joint venture back then, and we realized that having people that you trust and people that have talent 
it's such a rare combination to get both of those together, and we, we really were able to develop a very, very good working relationship. How long have they been in the mattress business here? They've been in the mattress business for, I think, close to four years, three to four years. Their big growth has been happening over the last one to two years where they've refined their methods, and they've evolved from selling mattresses and furniture out of a warehouse to now becoming actually mattress producers. Are they now selling the mattresses nationally or just still locally? They're actually selling it nationally. There's different chains. So what they're doing is they have reps in different regions selling. Selling their exclusive line? Exactly. They have sales reps selling their mattresses only. Correct. So are they approaching mattress stores? They are. We were working on a deal with Rent-A-Center, and it got all the way up to the purchasing manager, and he wanted to bring their lineup to replace one of the existing lines of Rent-A-Center. But since Rent-A-Center had already an existing relationship with Simmons, who stocked two of their lines, they ended up sticking with a Simmons and replacing a mattress company called Thermo with a Simmons line instead of using my guys' lineup. All right, so that didn't go through. What kind of sales volume are they currently doing? Last year, they did over a million in sales, and this year, they said they should be making at least two to three million this year. Currently, what is their main form of distribution? Reps are selling to where? Where are their sales coming from, and what do the margins look like in each one of those categories? What their existing business model, which has been their business model for several years, has been to use classified advertising, and people go to a classified ad thinking that they're going to buy a $100 mattress, and um, they come in, and then the salesman on the floor upsell them to mattresses that cost $1,000, just showing the benefit of that it's not a commodity purchase, but an investment in their, um, their sleeve. And but are they advertising locally, and they come into their showroom? Correct. They have one showroom? Yeah, they have one showroom. That's actually just a warehouse. But now that what they're doing is they have several reps. They actually just signed up an account with Holiday Inn the Johnson City Holiday Inn to, to replace all their mattresses there. And so they're also working with hotel chains, and so they're right at that point where they're about to hit critical momentum. Do you know what their cost is on the mattress? What kind of margins they make? Their margins on the mattress was around 25 to 30% for the dealers, but if you're selling it at retail, the markups are um, between 200 to 300%. Well, a mattress that sells for 1000 bucks costs what? A mattress that sells for... Thousand retail would probably cost them around maybe three fifty to four hundred. You've done some research on this, of course. You've got the Tempur Pedic, which is probably the number one brand type foam mattress out there. Right. And then there's some knockoffs. Is this a competitor or a knockoff of the Tempur Pedic? This is actually a, a direct competitor, except they've improved on what the Tempur Pedic flaws. What were the flaws? The flaws in the Tempur Pedic were. When people sleep on the temper pedic, the foam tends to sink, and so there's create a, a crater type effect. So it's hard to move around, and it also has the foam tends to heat up real quick, heat it hot. And so what the twins have innovated, they were able to create a cover called a Cool Max, which keeps the temperature nice and cool. And then they also have a foam that rebounds faster, and so you don't have that crater. You are able to move from side to side a lot. Okay, and all of their mattresses, they can ship UPS, they can box. Correct. What happens if a customer gets it and they open it out of the box and they want to return it? Is the customer able to get it back into the box? No, they have to find a shipping method to return it. Because there's special machines that take to compress the mattress. There's no way that, unless you have that machine, it's impossible to squeeze it back into that box. Did they invent and develop this machine? They actually created it. They reverse engineered what a lot of the Chinese manufacturers were doing. They came up with their own version of a machine and tweaked it and tweaked it. Are the Chinese manufacturing boxing mattresses like this for distribution? Yes, they are. Hi, it's Michael Sinoff with HardToFindSeminars.com. Thanks for watching this video. You know, many of my interviews last 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, sometimes even up to two and a half hours long. They're actual mini seminars, and you've just listened to a short sample of just one of over 117 hours of exciting, hard-hitting, mind-blowing interviews on how to make money in direct mail, advertising, copywriting. I assure you, there is not a resource anywhere 
anywhere on the Internet or on the planet that comes close to the free information I provide at hardtofindseminars.com. So go right now to hardtofindseminars.com, and you'll have free access to 117 hours of audio interviews with typed word-for-word downloadable transcripts and downloadable MP3 files. Please browse some more of the videos or go right directly to hardtofindseminars.com. Thanks for watching.